Hey, Josh from Pixel 6 Designs here again. Um, so a follow-up about the uh, Caltech CP33 and then also the Scorpion Micro. I think I mentioned before, I only have like a 25% a infill. So this thing is mostly hollow, which is why it's got so much flex to it, but it's also a 22 pistol and it's got a very smooth blowback action in it as it is that it's not causing much kickback and then that little kickback that does translate back to the brace doesn't cause it to flex very much. Um, that is a hand stop. Um, it's the uh, Magpul M-Lock hand stop. It's got a bit of a, 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 a lip on the bottom of it so you can hook a finger onto that while you're uh, holding it so it kind of works very well sort of as a improvised foregrip type situation even though that's not its intended purpose, understandable. But it's not a vertical foregrip though, not by any means. Um, and then, um, and also some have probably noticed though that the brace itself here, it doesn't stay locked open per se. It holds it open and keeps it from falling over, but with enough force, you can overpower the latch mechanism on it. Um, that is sort of by design because I don't want you to put so much force on it that it would actually break the brace or at least the, uh, the arm of the brace there. Um, now there are some things that you can do to mitigate or require more force to break that latch as far as sanding down this surface as so that this will latch in further. So that would basically help with that process there. Um, and then, of course, if you make this out of a th stiffer or thicker material, um, that'll basically allow for the magnet that attaches to the uh, to the body pin here to be more secure because this has a little bit of vertical shift to it there. Um, and whenever it shifts vertically off, then it really loses all its magnetic touch there. Remember, this is meant to be more of a storage option, not really a firing position. If you are going to fire it from it, though, I mean, technically you can, you know, sort of C-clamp the whole situation there and then keep it together, but it's not really recommended for that. It's more or less, you know, to pull it into its full extended position and then fire it instead of trying to, to do it that way. Um, but yeah, next I want to talk about the CZ Scorpion Micro. Uh, people were asking for me to do an update on it after I had done mods my modifications to it that I was planning on doing it. Um, so um, basically as far as the modifications I've done, I haven't gone too overboard with it. It's more or less in a stock configuration. The only real big, you know, sort of change in its physical uh, exterior appearance there are going to be the HB Industry, um, the uh, metal extended uh, charging handle, as well as then the, uh, I'm not sure how you say it, but the Paskey or Paxi Pathfinder vertical foregrip. So it takes that more hard angle and just straightens it out. Um, surprisingly enough, this actually allows for your hand to completely clear, um, including your index finger, the safety. So, I mean, technically I didn't even have to go ahead and do the grind down to, to flatten that safety on this side out. So, uh, Hindsight's 2020 on that. Um, and then of course I've got the HB Industries uh, extended paddle mag release there. Everything installs rather easily. Um, it's like one screw or one pin holding everything in uh, and everything sort of f slides out and assembles really easily there. Uh, on the interior side of things, I went ahead and got an HB Industries um, spring kit. It's quite literally just a spring and a shim. <laughs> um, and that trigger pull, it smooths everything out and lightens it a whole lot. Um, so it is empty and safe, of course. Um, but to give you an idea, it's very, very, very nice now. Um, I'd say it's like, they say it's supposed to be, you know, half, but it's more like a quarter of what it used to be. So, and uh, <laughs> with how light the trigger is now, <laughs> I mean, I understand you're not really supposed to bump fire this because it has a, a, a tendency of blowing out the side of its receiver from what I understand. Um, but cutting to a clip here, you can see it's, it's a very nice high rate of bump fire <laughs> when you do that though. Um, but yeah, so with that said here, um, 
you know, I've got more things in the works here. I've got a possibility of a uh, version two, which uses a different latching mechanism. It may add more to the exterior, but it may slim down the width of the profile of the pistol. But um, other than that, though, um, this is Josh at Pixel 6. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.